Jeffrey and Jess are Instagram influencers. Sound very nasally today, G. Ugh. They've amassed a following by posting sexual photoshopped pictures of themselves. They're selling a lie. Hey, 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 guys. Please buy my Herbalife product. <laughs> Adonis. Adonis stays offline. Why would he need to show off his success to others? He's already content and grateful in life. Mama and Papa raise Adonis to not crave the validation of strangers. It's all fake. What message is this sending? What message am I sending? You've only seen me pumped up in videos and pictures where I'm literally pumped up in the gym with the perfect lighting and the perfect angles. Bro, this is what I look like when I'm sat down. I look like a fucking... Actually, I look kind of good. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I was trying to prove a point, but your voice looking kind of good right now, though. <laughs> Usually when I'm sat down, I'm fasting right now, that's probably why we're usually when I'm sat down and like my stomach's like got all these little flab bits. I look like a fucking slug like you and that's okay. But when all you see are these sexy photoshopped Instagram models, your perception of what's normal gets skewed and it is all photoshopped. It's so easy that you don't even need a professional anymore. I still have the app, which I used to use to make my muscles bigger. I can literally within five minutes give myself like two years more gym progress. And now I don't use this app to photoshop my muscles anymore. I can give you that promise. It's been a little while. And a bunch of people have asked me for my skincare routine and I've always found that odd because I don't think my skin is that great I have like hundreds of these little spots everywhere and I was like hang on wait a minute What the f why is my skin so clear on this camera? There's literally a setting on my camera to hide this just so young guys think that I have the clear perfect skin and then they feel worse about themselves and they get mental health problems. I turn that shit off. And this isn't to insult the models, they aren't the problem. They're the people who have mastered this business and it is a business, it's just like a career. They know what it takes to reach the top of this influencer market and it is a very, very competitive, bullish area. That girl has nicer hair than you, so she's gonna become more successful. That guy has lighter skin than you, so he's gonna get more likes on Instagram. And so if it is business, if it is your career, why not fake it? Why not use just a little bit, just a little bit of Photoshop here and there? A bit of camera manipulation to give you that competitive edge. And you might see the influencers who have the meta posts where they show the reality. So they'll, they'll show themselves with like a bit of flab. They'll show their spots or they'll make a video exactly like this. And guess what? This is gonna f your mind. This is part of the same influencer business. We know that content like this does really well. We're not trying to be like authentic and help you guys. We're just trying to get the dopamine spike of checking the YouTube analytics and seeing that this was our number one YouTube video out of the last 10. When you see an influencer do one of these videos, like, hee hee, look guys, I'm fat too. <laughs> when you see them do one of these videos, they're still doing it for likes. They know that this content is gonna bang. So what's even real anymore? Bro, I don't know. I'm just a dumbass with a camera. I don't have all the answers. And that video too, I don't have all the answers. Trust me when I say YouTubers know that apology videos do very, very well, especially if you can get some fake tears going on. Come on, Logan, give us a little tear. So the practical advice that I have for you is to get the f away from the internet, including my videos. The internet in our modern day is almost entirely negative and all successful people drastically limit their internet usage. And you might say that you're the exception. You're, 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 you're different to everyone else. You're the only person in the entire world who can use it productively. I don't know a single person who could use the internet 100% productively with no consequences, including myself. Hold this mindset. The more time that I spend away from technology, the better. And that's a fact. Your mental health is reliant on this. Just turn off your phone, bro. Like literally, when was the last time that your phone was actually off? Like we don't even like literally switch our phones off these days. When was the last time that you set foot outside of your house without your phone? Look how you've been conditioned. Look at all the, the, the scary thoughts that just popped into your mind. Uh, leave, leave my house without my phone. But, but, but what, what, what if I get lost? What if I need to buy something with Apple Pay? What if there's an emergency? Don't you get it? This is the emergency. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. <laughs> this is the stupidest video I've made so far, bro. <laughs>